counter spies, but one of these counter spies is a counter counter spy. <laughs> All right. One of you knows what happened to these others, diamond belt buckle, and I mean to find out which one it is. Just a second. <laughs> How do we know the Kazar's belt buckle is missing? Because it's Kapensky. <laughs> <laughs> Now come clean, or I'm going to throw each one of you off the train, one at a time. I've got the theory. <laughs> yes, perhaps the Tsar, whose fondness for fashion is famous, belted his buckle on the back of the button-down bell bottoms. Boobala? <laughs> that is the worst theory I ever heard. Look at me when I'm going to throw you off the train. <laughs> I have got a theorem. <laughs> Perhaps the Kazar, whose fondness for food is famous, melted his buckle into the biscuit batter <laughs> and baked his buckle into a borscht-flavored biscuit. <laughs> huh? I was wrong. That's the worst theory I ever heard. <laughs> oh, listen, if you see the other fellow, tell him I apologize. Wait a second, I got another theory! <laughs> I've got it. What? I've got the hit song I was looking for. From St. Petersburg to Leningrad, from Moscow to Kiev, we are all happy on Siberian Express. Hey! <laughs> After that song, I throw myself off the train. <laughs> Ninochka, <laughs> did you find my diamond belt buckle? No time for that now, your Tsarness. I just received a message. <laughs> From Moscow. The peasants are revolting. <laughs> if you think the peasants are revolting, look what happens when I raise my hand. Tsar <laughs> or no Tsar, that's the worst underwear I ever saw. <laughs> And so, the mystery of the missing belt buckle remained a mystery. <coughs> but an even bigger mystery is, how come my lips don't move when I talk? <laughs>